So at this point, we have everything mechanically on the frame installed. So the A and B motor drives are up next. Okay, now we're going to start on page 69 in the manual. We're on the A drives. We'll be doing the B drives as well, very similar. We're going to be putting heat inserts in these parts, and you'll note that the two, these two holes, the inserts need to go down further. You need to push them all the way in. They sit below the surface, and then this one is a little more flush to the surface. So I've got my soldering iron powered up, and I'm just going to set these three inserts in place. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and sink these. You definitely don't want to go over where they need to be. Okay, that one's more on the surface. Okay, so you can see they're a little more recessed on these two pieces. And then try to get them as straight as possible. And if you do happen to go at an angle, you can always use the hot uh, the soldering iron to adjust a little bit. So here's an example if you want to check your make sure it's straight so you can kind of check it from all angles but yeah that looks good so you want those nice and straight some people will even use presses for these but i think that's overkill okay now we're going to go ahead and insert this a part to the a drive so these a's should be facing each other and you can also tell by looking at the part so the, it should be flush at the top here it won't drop in you got to kind of slide it in like that and that's what's going to allow you to tension your motors our next piece is going to be this piece right here, and we're going to put a heat insert in right there. Take my iron. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to get ready to build the bearing stacks. You're going to need two of your M35, M335 millimeter screws. You're going to need eight of these shims, which are half a millimeter. And then you're going to need six F623 bearings, and you're also going to need the printed spacers. To start out, you're going to go ahead and insert screws, one into here, and also one right next to it, here. And then you're gonna flip it over, kinda like that. And then this is where you start building out the stack. So I'm going to start on this stack. And you got to pay attention on this part. The, now the shims don't matter which way you put them. So put those on. Put one. So you go shim. Then you're going to go bearing. Make sure your first one is like this. Because this is what where the belts are going to ride. And make sure that they can fit in there. So now we're going to put the top one. Make sure it's the other way. Okay, so that's our first ones. I'm going to take that other screw out just so it doesn't get too annoying. And then now I'm going to do two shims. So there's one. There's the second one. And then I'm going to do the next set of bearings. So again, the bottom of the bearing, the wide part, should be first. And then the opposite way for the top part. The wide's on the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one more shim at the top. And that's pretty much going to close this one off. All right, now hold that carefully in place. That may help holding it sideways. So now we're going to do the next one. Next one, we're going to start off with a 3D printed spacer. There's no bearing, there's no shim underneath it. And then we're going to go with a shim. Oops, I make sure you just grab one. I almost grabbed two there. They're really tiny. And it does, it will make a difference if you have too many. All right, so we got 3D printed spacer, shim, and we're going to do the bearings, wide part first on the bottom, and then flip it, so wide part on the top, and then we're going to finish off with a shim at the very top. And that is all that we need to do for the stacks. Okay, and now you can just fit these two pieces together. For your A drives, make sure you got the A parts. And I, I would recommend holding them sideways so you don't end up screwing things up. But that's pretty much how it fits together, right like that. So just be really careful as you handle it. You can set it down like this if you want. Um, the manual also suggests confirming that you've got 18 millimeter stack height here. Okay, I'm going to carefully check mine. See, so yeah, I'd say mine's right pretty much exact. So about 18 millimeters. So that looks good. 
Okay, and for the next step, we are going to need this jig. We're going to need our motor pulleys, some Permatex or Loctite. I use the blue Permatex. And of course, our motors. I'm going to do the A motor first. Page 72 talks about grub screws being the root of many issues. Make sure that you get these nice and Loctited up. So that's, that's probably good enough there. Um, and do it on both screws. I know probably the one that goes on the the flat of the shaft is the most critical one, but I would I like to do them on both. I'll go ahead and put this one in here, get it ready. That one's ready to go. And now I'm gonna use my jig here and for the A motor, and see how so the where the A is that represents your belt. And I'll double check. Yep. After you do that one, make sure that's on the flat of the shaft, then go ahead and tighten up the other one. Okay, now I'm going to take my A drive, and I've got everything sandwiched together. I've still got my pulleys hanging here, and I'm going to carefully set it on top of the motor. You can kind of see the holes there. We're going to have to get that aligned with screws, and we're going to use these M335s, and we're also going to use a shim. In between and make sure the wire direction is is the same as the little tensioner here I'm gonna go ahead and take that so I've got my screw and I've got my shim also known as a washer and I'm gonna drop it down and then uh, I'm gonna kind of check and see make sure that's lining up on the hole and I would recommend doing that for a couple of these just so you're not you know you're not gonna be scratching up your motor real bad trying to find the hole. So get those lined up as best as you can, and then go ahead and get them started. Okay, got that one going. I'm gonna get this one going. Okay, I didn't fully tighten them yet. I'm gonna repeat the process for the other two. Okay, now I've got everything in there. And there's no reason to tighten these up real tight at the moment. So back them off a little bit because we're going to need to run our belts before we tighten everything. You want them tight enough where they stay, but you want to be able to adjust them like that. And it's a good idea just to check everything. So at this point, you want the motor wire coming out the same as this and flip it over. On this side, you want your bearings lined up. You want to make sure you have two shims in the middle, one at the top, one at the bottom here and then these bearings here like this. You also want to have your printed part and your bearing stack and shims top and bottom here. If you've got that, and then you can kind of see you're at, kind of looking in, you can see that the, the belts are going to come through this. So this should be aligned with the bottom. The motor pulley should be aligned with these bottom bearings. And the manual just calls for putting the tension knob on. You can go ahead and just loosely put that on there doesn't need to go on very much because we're not going to be tightening it yet but you can just kind of put it on there like that okay now that we've got the a drive done we're going to set it aside and then we're just going to do the same thing on the b drive okay and i'm just going to speed through this a little bit more so it's very similar to the a drives Take this part after the heat inserts, flip it over, and put your heat insert in this piece. Grab your two M35 screws and insert them in the appropriate holes, one here and one here. Go ahead and flip it over like this where the little post is, whole, is facing here. And we'll start building the bearing stacks with shims. We've got one shim on the bottom, wide bearing on the bottom, wide bearing on the top for the next one, two shims. Bearing wide on the bottom bearing white on the top and one more shim for this one okay that one's done 
So we're gonna do the second one. Start off with a shim. Then we're gonna do the bearings. So wide bottom first, wide top. We're gonna do another shim and the 3D printed spacer. And this one's now done. We're going to go ahead and fit these pieces together now, carefully. Just let them sit like that. Make sure these, this piece snaps in. And check your 18 millimeters distance. Looks good. Now I'm going to set it aside and work on the B motor. Grab my other motor. Grab my other pulley. And I'm just going to go ahead and Loctite the grub screws. Before I do that, I'll, I'll get it into position. So this pulley is going to go opposite the, uh, the, a, and the A motor, which is like this. It's going to go down like that. You're going to use your jig. And then you can come in here. And then you're going to set it in place. Make sure you set the grub screw on the flat of the motor. So something like that. So just to show a better angle, so my flat is right here facing me, so that's how I'm going to sink it. Yeah, I went ahead and gotten that one tightened, and you can see that I've got my jig just to kind of double check it. And I'm going to do the same thing with this other grub screw, a little blue Permatex. I'll go ahead and tighten it up real good. I'm going to use M335 screws to fasten it to the motor. There's one screw. And I'll just repeat for these other two screws here. Again, make sure that you've got your motor wire parallel to this thread here, and you can go ahead and put this on. And double check your stack. That looks like it showed the manual, and you can tell this is, so your motor pulley should be aligned with these top two bearings. That's your, gonna be the B drive, the high side. The last part of the AB drives it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to be mounting it to the corner frames here. We're going to use this as one of the screws. This idler screw here goes into this extrusion. And then you're going to use two of your preloaded nuts. And it takes a little bit to line these up. So just, you know, you're going to have to kind of look and watch to make sure that you get these lined up properly. And then this screw here is going to go into this nut. And then these two screws here, these are M330s that I didn't put in yet, but I'll finish that up. So the best way to eye these up would be to hold it where you know it's going to go in. And then just move your, your uh, preloaded nuts over. That should be about right. You also need to move these over and do the same thing. Okay, that one's going in. And that one's going in. Get those all down nice and tight. Just get them in there, slug them off. There's one installed, and we're just going to repeat on the A drive. Okay, I've got the A drive lined up, and I'm just checking the, all the screws here. All lined up correctly. It's nice and tight. And just to finish off the B and A drives, go ahead and put these M330s in, and just tighten those up.